The Services Committee called for stronger safeguards to secure your personal information from data breaches. Sharon Co is live on the northwest side with more on the story. Sharon? Jeff and Sarah, hackers are pulling out cash from our accounts by using skimmers easily purchased online. Today, a crusader against identity theft showed us a way banks could be better protecting us. Check it out. The device, no bigger than your hand. Unfortunately, that is a Google search away for anyone. Capable of a whole lot of damage. And in less than an hour, we were able to steal 38 credit card and debit card numbers from unsuspecting people. That to a hacker, that would have been a few thousand dollars easily. He got all these credit and debit card numbers by walking past people at the mall. The device picks up the radio frequency identification chip inside of your car. Um, that signal actually powers up your credit card or debit card and your credit card responds to that signal. With security breaches like this, the U.S. House of Representatives Financial Services Committee is asking if Congress should require banks to adopt credit card security measures used in other countries, such as with Europe's smart cards. The account information is encrypted and transactions cannot be authorized without an additional pin code. And this costs them about $5.15 per card they're replacing. Expand. Its this solution, is Chris look. Gilpin, Everything envisions like neutralizing really this good. as the debate intensifies on Capitol Hill to strengthen security measures. You're basically walking down the street with your name, card number, expiration date on your shirt as far as the hacker is concerned. Now, Gilpin offers a solution you can start using now. He's the creator of Signal Vault. It's a card that scrambles devices uh, trying to read your information. You can place it in your wallet to protect your other cards. Now, this is only available to purchase online. We've got all that information under this story on Kens5.com. Reporting live in Northwest San Antonio, Sharon Coe, Kens5 Eyewitness News.